Hello traders. Welcome to another exciting episode of Easy Forex Pips. Imagine having the power to predict where currency prices are likely to go by understanding the hidden forces of liquidity and fair value gaps. It's like having a GPS for the Forex market, and we're going to unlock its secrets right here, right now. In this advanced episode, we're diving deep into the intricate relationship between internal and external liquidity and how they influence price movements, all while filling in the gaps that define market balance. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, understanding these concepts can provide you with a clearer view of the market, how prices moves, and improve your trading results. So, join us on this journey because it could revolutionize the way you trade in the financial markets. If this topic excites you, Please give this video a thumbs up to show your support, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, let's dive right in. Welcome back, traders. Let's kick things off by talking about liquidity. Understanding liquidity is like having a crystal ball for predicting price movements. It's a fundamental concept you must grasp before diving into any trade. It equips you with the ability to anticipate where prices might go whether they'll retrace, or make a big move up or down. So, what drives the Forex market's ups and downs? It all boils down to two key factors, liquidity zones and fair value gaps. First up, liquidity zones. Think of liquidity as the lifeblood of the market. It's what the market constantly chases to price momentum. Now, the second factor is fair value gaps. These gaps are like empty spaces in the market, waiting to be filled. Look at this example. The price sharply dropped, leaving behind a fair value gap. Then, it climbed back up to fill that gap and clear out external liquidity. Once external liquidity was gone, the price reversed to fill the most recent fair value gap. This cycle is how the market operates, continually seeking to clear liquidity and fill those gaps. Let's have a quick breakdown of fair value gaps and see how we can identify them in the market. Fair value gaps are pretty straightforward once you get the hang of them. They usually pop up in a sequence of three candles, and they're super obvious on your chart as a big candle. What makes them special is that the upper and lower ends of the neighboring candles don't quite line up with the body of that big candle. This creates what we call the fair value gap zone, and we draw it right on the body of that significant candle. Picture this, the price takes a nosedive. In this scenario, a fair value gap, also known as a liquidity gap. We're only looking at the impulse up or down candle and the candles right next to it. Forget about the other candles outside this range, they're not part of the gap game. These pockets of liquidity voids are essential because they can be gold mines for entering trades. When the price is going down, it's on a mission to clear out those potential liquidity zones above it. This makes those zones attractive spots where the price might bounce back up, fill those gaps, and then continue its downward march with even more oomph. Now, let's talk about liquidity. We divide it into two types, internal and external liquidity. Imagine the market structure as a rally wave, with highs and lows. Those highs and lows? That's your external liquidity. They're the tops and bottoms of that rally wave. Now. The fair value gaps you find snuggled between those highs and lows? That's your internal liquidity. They're like hidden gems within the range of the highs and lows. Now, when you zoom in on a lower time frame, you'll come across all sorts of internal highs and lows and market structures. But when you switch to a higher time frame, guess what? They all turn into fair value gaps. It's like a magic trick. The market is always on the move shifting between two kinds of liquidity, internal and external. Think of it as a never-ending cycle where price moves between internal and external liquidity. In simple terms, price either moves from a high or low point towards a fair value gap or vice versa. This is the basic move the market does. Take a look at this Euro USD chart. It's showing a rally wave going up, grabbing all that external liquidity above the previous high. After that, the price heads towards internal liquidity, which is basically the price moving from the fair value gap to external liquidity by cleaning up the liquidity above that high. Once it's done with external liquidity, 
the price wants to find balance by targeting internal liquidity. That's when the price drops and fills the most recent fair value gaps. So, after it fills this fair value gap, it's likely to go for some external liquidity again. But here's the million dollar question. Will it aim for the upper or lower external liquidity? To figure that out, you need to consider the previous price action on a higher time frame or even within the same time frame. Let's say you zoom out and see that the price has mostly been heading down, you'd expect a downward break. In that case, it's more likely to keep moving down to sweep up that lower external liquidity. On the other side, if it's been riding high in an uptrend, you'd expect it to aim for the upper external liquidity. But that's not all. Another crucial factor to determine price direction is the price action as it enters the fair value gap. Let's break down some examples. Here's a bullish rally wave, and we're going to dissect it step by step. The price initially dips below the low, sweeping up all that external liquidity hanging out below that level. Then, it bounces back up towards the internal liquidity, aiming to fill those fair value gaps. Once it's done with that balancing act, the price flips the script and heads back down to sweep up more external liquidity. Boom! Another bearish rally wave forms, and it's already taken care of the external liquidity from the previous rally's low. Now, it's all about moving towards internal liquidity. But here's where the fun begins. The price starts cruising towards the fair value gaps and experiences a shift at the extreme fair value gap. And guess what? Another rally movement kicks in. This time, the price goes all out in sweeping up the external liquidity. It's a full-blown feast. But hold on, there's a twist. Despite having those three fair value gaps right there, the price doesn't show them any respect. It just keeps going lower, ignoring those gaps like they're invisible. Instead of turning up, the price goes for the lower external liquidity. What's the big takeaway? Well, after it's done sweeping up that buy side liquidity and forming a perfect point of interest, poi, it does a quick U turn back to its primary direction. And here's the kicker the price is now on a mission to target the buy side liquidity. See, the buy side liquidity has been wiped clean, and the price is eyeing the sell side liquidity, which lines up perfectly with its dominant direction. As you can see, the price takes a nosedive, efficiently sweeping away the low of the previous wave. That's what we call external liquidity. Once those gaps are sorted, it's back to business as usual, and the price makes another move towards external liquidity, just like you see right here. And like a pro, it sweeps up that external liquidity with a long wick. And that's a wrap. Traders. Remember, trading isn't just about making money, it's about managing risks and staying disciplined. It takes time and practice to become a successful trader, so don't let losses get you down. Keep learning, keep improving your skills, and keep up the good work. I wish you all the best on your trading journey. Thanks for sticking around and watching this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay in the loop about our latest videos. We value your feedback and suggestions, so drop your comments below and let us know what topics you'd like us to tackle in our future videos. Your support means everything, and we can't wait to see you in the next episode.